Hey everybody and welcome to the craft room. Um, my name is Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. I promised somebody on my Facebook page today that I would show you how to make these cute little um, treat boxes here that I've made for swaps for on stage in Melbourne which happens next week. Um, so I just thought I'd pop and record a quick video so I can show you how I've made them. I'll make the little boxes and show you how to cut the paper and everything. Um, I won't decorate it because obviously you're going to decorate yours whatever way you want but I, I will show you the stamp set that I used to, to for that cute little hot air balloon. Um, okay so you start with these, excuse me while I move my chair, you start with piece of, two pieces of cardstock, they're actually um, in two pieces. Um, the first piece is two and an eighth by seven and a half so that's obviously this one here in, in um, uh, in metric that's 5.4 centimeters by 19 centimeters and then you have a second piece which is two and seven eighths by four and that's this one here so two and a seven eighths is 7.3 by 10.2 okay so we'll get um, that's what we've got to make it so the box is, is in two parts so the the sort of the smaller rectangle you grab your trimmer or your um, scoring board or whatever it is that you use to score and you score in from every in from every edge one inch so that's what two and a half centimeters so in from each edge one inch so top bottom and sides so you get a bit like this you get this little um, noughts and crosses board there so then grab your scissors and Grab your scissors and from the long edge, just cut along that score line till you get to the cross where they cross over to the where the two horizontal and vertical score lines cross each other. So you're just cutting from the long edge into there. Okay. So then might move the trimmer, we don't need that anymore, I don't think. And this is your little tray that's going to go inside the box, as you can see there. You need to just grab some glue or double-sided tape or snail, whatever it is that you like to use in the craft room. I'm using some double-sided tape. And just pop it on that. This is the inside surface. Just get that off there. And then just form it up into a wee little uh, box, I suppose. Or it hasn't got a top, but it's close. A little tray. There. And what you've ended up there with is a two inch long, and it's just under, it's a seven eighths of an inch wide tray. You'll see why it needs to be a little bit less than an inch in a second when we score. Oh, we do need the board again. We score this other piece. So this is our um, seven and a half by two and an eighth. So this one, we're going to score it at three and a quarter, which is 8.3 by the looks of it on my scoring board. And then at four and a quarter, which is 10.8. Okay, so you get two, that's two scores there, and they are an inch apart. So that means that this little one that's just under an inch will fit nicely in there. So no, um, no problem getting that to sit in there. So to give it the nice little triangular top there, I'm using my hexagon punch in the current annual catalogue for oh, annual catalog? one of the catalogues. It's in. It's a current stamping up item. Just bring it in. So you're only punching one end. So just position it hard up on the edge there, and you just give it a punch, and you get that little dockety end there. Do the same. Spread it through. And position it at the other end. And do the same so straight and central there we are so that's the two ends of our our little um, holder there our little cover 
Okay, so to do that as well, to give it a, a nice little um, decorated surface, we've got a piece of designer series paper here. This is the designer series paper that goes with the hot air balloons. I think it's called Up, Up in the Air designer series paper. It's really cute. It's got some really nice bright patterns. So before we get rid of our punch, we're going to feed that through as well. Position it right at the very end. And do the same. So this piece, I should tell you before I move on, this little piece of designer series paper is 2 inches by 3 inches, which is 5.1 by 7.6 centimetres. Now, you can, if you wanted to, make this a wee bit longer. I've made it the 2 by 3 so I can get, you know, um, 6 out of a, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, six out of a piece of six by six because I was making lots. But if you make it a wee bit longer, it might fit a, wee, a bit better. Okay, so we're going to glue this to the card, to the little cover we've made. Yeah. Lines up really nicely with the edge there, or at least it should like that then we're going to grab my trusty old paper hole punch which i've had since forever since primary school i reckon just towards the top there and put a little hole Oops, forgive that noise so that little hole is where our ribbon is going to go we have about Four and a half inches of this is the cute um, fairy vanilla and black gingham, gingham ribbon it's the thicker one and well that's going to go through there I'm not going to do that straight away am I because I need to bring in our little so this is our little box that we made our little tray and pop that just in that little inch wide platform that we made for ourselves bring it in it'll be slightly smaller on the sides and because we've been very clever and made it slightly skinnier it'll be slightly narrow so that the edges of our beautiful cover come up without brushing up against it too much then we get our ribbon and we can seal it off like that so you, obviously you can put whatever you want in there I've got some um, shredded colorful paper from the local two dollar shop um, which I'm going to pop in there and then I'm going to grab some, some um, Easter eggs, some solid eggs, just little ones and pop them in there as well. And that will be my swap for on stage. There we are, so with our little ribbon there. Now to decorate mine, I've got um, the little balloon, a hot air balloon, and that is from the aptly named hot air balloon stamp set and dies. That's the bundle. Um, I've obviously stamped and die cut that little balloon there. The colours that I've used to go with my Lost Lagoon are um, Pretty Peacock and Calypso Coral. And then the little thank you I just got from a random stamp set around here somewhere. So basically just stamped the balloon, popped it on there with um, glue, then popped the sentiment over the top and added some, some basic rhinestones as well. But you could choose whichever way you want to decorate, to decorate yours. It's really up to you. As I say, I've got some little shredded paper and I'll put some eggs in there. And that is on stage swaps all done. So hopefully you like that one. I'd love to see what you come up with decorating. It'd be excellent. Um, but anyway, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you all again probably after on stage.